Hey YouTube, I'm Tame here. Today I want to talk about Ford Raptor sales across the nation, and in particular, Ford Raptor sale prices right now. So I think if you have been on the fence to buy a Ford Raptor, now might be a good time given the sale prices, right? If you're gonna finance a crap ton of it, maybe not. Finance rates are pretty, pretty awful. Even with excellent credit, you're looking at anywhere from a seven to 10% interest rate, which is pretty pathetic to say out loud. But when it comes to the actual price of it, you're actually able to get a good deal now. So for those of you who didn't watch my first video, me actually taking delivery of my new 2023 Ford Raptor here, I actually got a good chunk off of MSRP. So I think I did the math, I think it was $5,300 $5, I got off of MSRP. MSRP on it was just under 84,000 and I ended up paying 78,500 for it. So very, very happy with how much I paid, but that has not always been the case. If you've been in the market for a Ford Raptor, you know for a fact that their prices have always been extremely high, right? A lot of dealerships, a lot of greedy dealerships out there have always taken advantage of people slapping pretty ugly markups on them. We're talking five, 10, 15,000, or even 20 or 30, 40,000 for the Raptor R in particular. So right now you're actually able to get a discount off of MSRP for the first time ever. For the first time ever in Ford Raptor history, you can actually get a good deal on them. Uh, my case, if you watch my first video, I won't dissect it to death in this video, but there was uh, some extenuating circumstances that kind of forced the dealer, not forced, they didn't have to do anything, but there was a unique circumstance where they were willing to drop the price a little bit more due to a little bit of a miscommunication that occurred. So I'll let you check out that video if you're interested in seeing that. But all that to say, it is possible. I'm, I'm seeing it now. I'll share them on my Instagram right now if you want to go check them out. But there are deals, I mean, even advertised prices, right? So this one was advertised at MSRP plus a little bit of a dealer add-on. So it wasn't a straight up addendum, a random markup for nothing, but they did add on Expel window tint and the front windows here. They put on the paint protection film up front on the door edges and the, the door handle cups. Um, what else did they do? And they put on a, a protection package for interior and a dent protection package package for, for the exterior as well. So. Each of those and a dealer handling fee of $700. So they kind of had some inflated prices on it, bringing it up to $87,000 about is how much they wanted for this one here. So the fact that I got, 78, got it for $78,500, I was extremely happy with that. Um, and I got a great trade value for my Chevy ZR2 that I traded in, $78,500. So very pleased with how this particular deal worked out. And I'm pretty confident you can do the same right now. Uh, maybe not as much, but you can definitely get three or four thousand dollars off of a, a Ford Raptor, a 35 Raptor. Let me make that clear. The 37 performance packages, they still tend to be a little bit more elusive because there's less of them, right? So for every four Ford Raptors that are built, only one of them is a 37 performance package. So they're a little bit more scarce. So, but you are absolutely able to get one of those at MSRP as I see them being advertised every day on Facebook groups that I follow Facebook pages for MSRP. And in fact, if you didn't watch that video, that's actually what I went down to buy. Went down to buy a 37 performance package Avalanche Gray Ford Raptor, but that's not what they had. So I kind of got hoodwinked a little bit. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that. I don't think it was malicious, but the vehicle that I had been communicating with them about was no longer available. This is all they had. So because of that, they dropped the price quite a bit for me, thankfully. So very pleased with it, very happy to have this. But we do find ourselves, for the first time ever, in a position to get a Ford Raptor for a good deal, for a discount below MSRP without too much tug of war with the dealership. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. The, the negative of all this is we're kind of, we're kind of, you know, we gotta be careful what we wish for, right? We always want a better deal. We always want to get below MSRP, but what does that mean? What does that affect? That typically affects your trade-in value, your resale value. So if every dealer is selling their, their Ford Raptors at below MSRP right now, the chances of you selling your used one, your 2021 or 2022 Gen 3 Raptor for a higher price, like you have been able to the last couple of years, is unlikely now, right? So. It's a catch-22 to some degree, but honestly, I would much rather have it this way where we're not getting taken advantage of and milked by dealers uh, at, the, at the front end, right? I would much rather it be this way and get good deals, get fair deals instead of being taken advantage of. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Let me know if you've gone in to trade in for a Ford Raptor. I'd be curious to know what your trade-in value is because uh, 
after calling around just with my Chevy ZR2, there were so many dealers that were giving me awful trade-in values. Yeah, I only called them for like four or five, but they were all terrible. My ZR2 had an MSRP, it was the Bison edition, had a MSRP of 84,500, and so many dealers, I'd say, yeah, at least three of them. Three of them were low 70s. One of them, I think, was was 75,000, but even that took some, you know, some bending of the fingers. So, but yeah, all that to say, trade-in values right now are extremely bleak. That's kind of kind of the position we're in. A lot of people would suggest that we are heading toward a recession at this point in time, you know, given the entire market in general, uh, the stock market, the housing market, everything is just looking looking pretty bleak. But that is a whole separate can of worms. I'm not trying to open per se during this video, but that is something to consider, right? We're starting to see a, a lot less vehicle sales across the board. And, you know, people just aren't buying and, and dealers are starting to seal, feel that and sense the pain that people are in from an economic standpoint. So let me know what your thoughts are. Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.